Hey guys, it is me again. Good to see you guys again tonight. Today is Friday, January 21st. Makes it day 21 on our project, Serve Him More. Glad you guys are here tonight. Uh, hope you guys are doing all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, hope you're having better weather than we are. Of course, it's about, well, at least I, I guess can't complain too bad because it's not snowing right now. We got about an inch of snow last night, I guess, an inch, inch and a half, and it stopped. And it's not snowed today, uh, but it's been colder than the Dickens. Uh, it's, it's not over 20 outside right now, I know, uh, and the temperature keeps dropping. I think they're given by tomorrow. I don't know if tomorrow or Sunday is supposed to be the coldest, but it's supposed to get down to single digits. So, well, yeah, I hope you guys are are uh, staying a little bit warmer than we are here. Uh, which thank the Lord, you know, for a good warm house and heat, you know, uh, and all those type of things that we take for granted a lot of times, you know. Uh, so, you know, that's one thing I kind of got in a little bit down while ago. Uh, cause as you guys probably guessed, uh, and like I already knew was coming, I did not get to draw payday today. Uh, you know, this week was just horrible. I mean, it's, it's either the worst week we've ever had or it's up there. It's, it's time. <laughs> it's a close tie, you know, but you know, it's in the running for, for the worst week we've ever had. And to, um, uh, if it's any better than the worst week we've ever had, it's maybe a hundred dollars or something better, but that's it. Um, so I did not get to draw payday today. Uh, we're uh, three days behind on our mortgage, um, and what I mean by that, I don't mean we're we're late three days. Um, it's actually not due till Monday. The way I do our mortgage payment is I take so much money out every day. Every day that we, you know, every evening when we leave the garage, we, you know, we count the cash register down, you know, see what we made that day, uh, you know, and I've got it figured out how much money I have to take it, make every day just to pay my mortgage, you know, because that's pretty much the number one thing, you know, trying to stay in a house to live in. Uh, so every day I take so much money out for my mortgage. And, you know, even when times get tight usually you know like I've talked about before I've never really had trouble well I'm not gonna say I've never had trouble doing it but I rarely have trouble at least making enough to pay my mortgage uh, and this week has been so slow um, that right now I'm well tomorrow will make it three days if I don't make a big bunch of money tomorrow and I don't suspect to it being a Saturday uh, then I will be three days behind on my mortgage uh, and it's due Monday, so, you know, I don't know, uh, I know the Lord will give it to me somehow, uh, you know, <clears throat> we may be a day or two late paying it, and I know that's no big deal, you know, a lot of people, you know, uh, stay a month behind on the mortgage and all that, but, but I've not, you know, even when, even when things are bad, like I said, I've always paid my mortgage on time, I mean, the day that it's due, I pay it, because uh, I always just, you know, think that looks better at the bank, you know, in case something happens, you know, at least, you know, they can say, well, they've always paid their mortgage on time. But anyway, guys, you know, like I was going to say, I got a little bit down a while ago thinking about that. And like I said, I, I didn't get to come home to almost 7 o'clock tonight. I had to stay late working on a truck. And, you know, I just, I got aggravated because I said, you know, here I am working to 7 o'clock. And, of course, you know, I was on, well, I'm not going to say I was on the one our dad was there, but our other worker went home. You know, I got aggravated. I said, you know, here he's the one. He, he drew a payday this week, and I didn't. And I'm staying here to seven o'clock, and he's gone home. Uh, and you now, like I said, I just got a little aggravated, you know, because you know having to, you know, do that and just different stuff, you know, just you know how you get, you know, just you know, I I get aggravated, you know, when I'm not making any money. Uh, you know, I'm not greedy for money. I don't love money. Uh, to be honest, I wish we didn't have to have it. I wish there could have been some other system set up in the world. So. Uh, you know, so we didn't have to have it, but we do, and that's the way, it, you know, that's the way it, um, you know, that's the way the ball bounces, so, uh, but like I said, I got a little bit down, and 
But then the Lord gave it to me. He said, you know, as I was walking through the house here, you know, he said, you know, he, he gave this to me. He said, you know, you're living in a nice warm house. Uh, and, you know, of course, me, I had to I had to spit it back at him. I said, well, Lord, I'm behind on my mortgage uh, money right now. I said, this time that next month I may not be in this house. Uh, but then, you know, he gave me the the, the calmness on that too to say no you're gonna make it you, you you'll make that payment don't worry about it but you know that's what he gave me he said you know you're living in this nice warm house uh yeah the bills are high they're hard to pay uh and things look bleak right now but i've still got it better than 99 percent of the people on this planet you know and we're all like that you know i heard that once they said if you had uh any money whatsoever to your name i mean like if you had a dollar to your name and you had something to eat in the in your refrigerator, or worst, had anything to eat and one dollar in your pocket, then that automatically puts you in the top eighty. Then you were richer than 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 eighty percent of the world. Eighty percent of the world lives in poverty, with no money and pretty much nothing to eat. You know, I don't know where their next meals coming meals coming from. You know, and most of us here in the United States, I mean, yeah, times are tough. You know, money's tight, and we're struggling, but this is still the best place in the in the world to live. We're still doing better than most places do, and I honestly think that's because this country, up until recently, up until probably in the last 30 or 40 years, this country was founded on Christian values. This country has been run on Christian values, and God has blessed the socks off of the United States you know which a lot of people are going around screaming that's over you know and you know the America's doomed and all this stuff I don't you know I'm not gonna really get into that <clears throat> I don't believe it really you know I, I mean I believe in prophecy what's gonna happen but you know uh, I don't think God's sitting there with a grudge against the United States like he's gonna destroy us just cause of who we are you know because you know they are still a lot of you know good bible believing actual real christians in this country but you know i just thought about that a while ago like i said you know i'm you know even though i'm sitting here struggling like crazy struggling like i've never struggled before uh with money i've still got it better than most people in the world you know and that's what we got to look at you know don't look at that person you know because this is what i tend to used to do still do it some but used to do it worse I would look at the people that are doing better than me, and I would compare myself to them. You know, oh, look at these friends I got that have got six, you know, six-figure income jobs. You know, they're they're, uh, you know, bringing home a hundred thousand dollars a year and doing this, and doing that. And, you know, uh, look at these guys. That, you know, I've got on a kick here lately. I want to buy a small tractor, like a Kubota tractor or something like that, and I'm going to try to buy one this spring or summer. Uh, to uh, scrape our driveway and stuff with snow and, you know, just use it around the house. And, you know, I, I, one of our neighbors actually bought one, bought a bigger one. And, you know, you start looking, oh, look, you know, he bought this. And, he, you know, these people can do this and these people can do that, you know. And I got one neighbor that's a, that's a doctor, you know, and they, you know, you see big new navigators and hummers come out of their driveway, you know, across the road from me. And, uh, you know, you, you do, you tend to compare yourself to them, you know, and you say, well, look how good they're doing. And, you know, I'm, I barely got enough money to eat on. But we do have the money to eat on. See, and that's the thing. So we we need to realize how much the Lord's blessing us. And I struggle with this more than anybody. I get down. I get angry. I get aggravated. But in all honesty, you know, we're blessed to, We're blessed a whole lot. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to try to get to my reading here tonight. I didn't want to make this too long. Uh... Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. Does everybody else hate the new YouTube layout as much as I do? I think it stinks. I I wish there was some kind of... Somebody needs to start a petition or something to everybody to sign or click on or whatever to get YouTube to change that back. It sucks. I don't know how many videos I've seen people making about how bad it, uh, how bad the new YouTube layout is, the homepage layout. I mean, I, I, I hate it. I think it stinks. But anyway, guys... Uh, I'm going to try to answer comments tonight. I know if, you know some of you guys commented, maybe sent me emails and all that kind of stuff too. I'm going to try to answer those tonight. That's the reason I'm trying to get this in a little bit earlier. 
But anyway, guys, let's get to the important part tonight. And that is, of course, God's word. I don't want to forget to tell you guys to pray for me. You know, I still need it. You know, I'm, you know, God sends me miracles every day. And I just, I just, you know, need to keep them. You know, like I said, it's going to be a miracle for me to be able to pay my mortgage Monday. You know, but I got to believe that the Lord's going to, you know, do something to let me pay it. Uh, so, uh, you guys just keep praying for me, and that's what it takes. It takes prayer warriors, and uh, and, and I, I love you guys for that, and I thank you. So here we go, guys. Mark chapter 4, verse 35. Here we go. And the same day when the even was come. Hang on, guys. Never mind. I'm sorry. Hang on. See, I just realized... I read that yesterday, and we need to start in Mark chapter 5. So here we go. I went back yesterday and read on that some guys, and I guess that's the reason I, was, I had the wrong spot mark. Anyway, Mark chapter 5, verse 1. Here we go. And they came over into the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. I love this story who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Well, this shows you the power, guys, that, that demonic people, possessed people can have. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. I think all these kids and everybody you see nowadays that are, you know, cut cut themselves. I think that's possessed by the devil. You know, that's that's just our society. Demons are in, even in kids now, you know, they're they're in people they've never been in before. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. See, this is the this is the part of the story I love. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now, <clears throat> you know, guys, we're going to stop. Because that's ten verses. You know, our next one is talking about where he sends them into the swine. And I really don't want to start on that until we can finish it. So, uh, but you know, even demons have to. That's what gets me. You know, you got these people now, atheists and all these people that, that deny God. You know, even the demons, even the demons that that fell with you know, fell with Satan and do his bidding, even they when they come face to face with Jesus Christ, they have to admit who he is. And they still right now, if you could ask one. I would hate to be face to face for one, but if you ask one face to face is Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and Creator of the universe and Creator of everything? It would admit, it would say yes. It would say yes. It has to. It would say yes. You know, and that gets me that demons, you know, the demons straight out of hell, uh, will admit who Jesus Christ is, and we got these idiots running around today uh, that won't. But anyway, guys, I'm glad you all, you all were here tonight. As you can tell. I'm in a better mood. See, this is another reason I love doing this, guys. I'm in a better mood right now than I was when I started this reading because I've got to read from Scripture. I've got to talk to you guys. It's just such a blessing for me to be here. So I hope you guys have the same blessing that I do from this. You know, uh, like I said, keep praying for me, you know, because, you know, like I said, I, you know, we're getting by every day. I mean, that's it. We're, you know, I've, I've got some things going on I, you know i've got a i got a ticket i got to turn in tomorrow well i got to turn one in well between tomorrow and like tuesday i got to turn them in you know i got a couple tickets that i'm gonna make a thousand dollars off of you know and then i got a couple more service jobs for this company where they're all for the same company that i got to turn in is about seven hundred dollars you know so i mean like right there was like seventeen hundred bucks but you're probably looking because this company to be honest the guy's killing me the guy that turns the invoices in because he holds them for some reason, and, you know, he's late turning them in a lot of times, I'll probably be middle of February, no, I won't, I won't get them out soon, I'll probably be the first of March, 
getting paid for these things, you know. So, you know, uh, just pray for me. Pray that this guy will turn those tickets in quick. We can get them processed quick, and I can get my money. Because, like I said, that that $1,700 right now will be a lifesaver. You know, but like I said, I know if you're looking March. I mean, you're looking the first of March getting this money. Um, so anyway, guys, like I said, just pray for me. Continue to pray. Uh, you guys are doing a good job. I love you guys. If you need anything, let me know. Until I see you guys again, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night with some more God's word. Uh, until I see you again, good night and God bless.